All right, so good morning, everyone, and thank you for the introduction, Tatiana. So starting from our problem here, we're going to talk about highly pathogenic avian influenza, and this is probably one of the most devastating diseases in the poultry industry worldwide. And now the current outbreak in the U.S. is considered the largest animal disease event in the country history. We also know that time is a critical factor when we're talking about the diagnostic of this virus. And currently, the process is based on first identification and then characterization using sequencing platforms. And our group has the goal to combine identification and characterization in one single platform using nanopore sequencing from clinical samples. But as you can already imagine, sequencing the high path genome from a clinical sample full of host nucleic acid is basically trying to find a needle in a haystack. Therefore, to achieve our goal to get enough sequence data from a clinical sample, we need to do some kind of enrichment. And for enrichment, we have different possibilities. We can go for a target-dependent enrichment using the influenza A universal primers, or we can go for a target-independent enrichment using CISPA, that stands for Sequence Independent Single Primer Amplification. And recently, our group came up with a new method, a semi-target enrichment that we named SASA. All right, so now let's look closely to the different enrichments. Starting from the Influenza A universal primers, this is an amplicon-based sequencing. Using one set of primers, you can amplify the whole genome of influenza. On the other hand, with CISPA, we use tagged random hexamers to reverse transcribe and amplify different RNAs from our clinical sample. And finally, with our SASA, we combine the tagged 13 nucleotide long primers that were designed based on Influenza A RefSeq database from GeneBank because we aim to preferably amplify influenza segments, but we also want to keep the broad spectrum from metagenomic next generation sequencing. All right, so now that we're all familiar with the different enrichments, let's bring them to a real scenario. So we selected five positive samples from the current outbreak, age 5 and 1, as well as mixed infection samples containing different poultry viruses, as well as different influenza A subtypes. And starting from this taxonomy classification plot with the universal primers, you can clearly see that the majority of our reads were viral reads, and in those viral reads, 99.9% .9 influenza. So we basically only sequent influenza reads. On the other end, with CISPA, we decreased the viral reads to only 8%, with a high percentage of bacteria reads. And finally, with SASA, we stood in the middle, with 15% of our reads being virus, as well as a high percentage of bacteria reads. So now, how those different enrichments will perform with the mixed infected sample? So starting from your bottom left side, you can see that with the universal primers for influenza A, we couldn't sequence the Newcastle disease virus, but we obtained a very high coverage for the H5N1, as well as the correct subtyping of different influenza A subtypes with high coverage. On the other end, in your top right side, you can see that with CISPA, we sequenced both Newcastle and influenza, but we had a decrease in the coverage for influenza reads, as well as for the different influenza A subtypes. And finally, with our new SASA, we stand in the middle, we sequence both influenza and Newcastle with very high confidence, as well as the correct subtyping of different influenza A, and it still outperforms CISPA when it comes to the identification of influenza. So in summary, you can see that those different enrichments perform differently. So starting with CISPA, we amplified everything. It's a random process, it's not targeting anything specific. On the other end, with the universal primers, we focus on a targeting enrichment of influenza. And with SASA, we combined both higher sensitivity for influenza, as well as the identification of off-targets. And our future work with SASA will focus on a design of a new set of primers for influenza from a more representative database, as well as the creation of a panel for different poultry pathogens having one test for multiple diseases. And in addition to the wet lab enrichment, we aim to, uh, to apply the in silico enrichment using adaptive sampling. So thank you. I'll be happy to take your questions here and at the poster section.